boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got to talk about a sad but funny story, okay? Because it involves Nancy Pelosi throwing out the first pitch for Pride Night for the Washington Nationals. Now, again, this is hilarious for multiple reasons, right? And the main reason is actually not about how bad Nancy Pelosi's pitch was because we know that it was going to be a terrible pitch i mean she's an 80 some year old woman so it's not like anybody was expecting a fastball down the middle right but what i certainly was not expecting from her uh is for the stadium to be completely empty right as she's throwing this pitch okay you gotta look at this image right here there is absolutely nobody in the stands whatsoever for pride night now this is especially interesting because this takes place in the nation's capital which is supposed to be a, a liberal hive mind right um and nobody showed up for pride night right nobody is out here supporting pride night the nationals the washington nationals uh they actually I, I believe they have the longest running pride night in the mlb okay there are a ton of teams doing it and we've already went over some of the controversies surrounding it there's controversies every single year right mainly this year you had the la dodgers and the backlash that they faced for basically trying to have lgbtq nuns honored at their pride event right their pride night and that didn't go over too well but despite that uh you had the angels invite these nuns to show up to their pride night lgbtq plus community are celebrating pride night at angel stadium tonight among the attendees the sisters of perpetual indulgence the sisters are again drawing criticism and controversy some baseball fans taking issue with their appearance ktla's carlos Sacedo joins us live from angel stadium with more on the event carlos Mike and here. It was a beautiful night for Pride Night here at Angel Stadium, but the attendance of one specific group brought out some protesters saying that the appearance of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence was rather unholy. An evening at the ballpark for Angel's Pride Night. Not without controversy. This heated moment between Angels fans and an anti-LGBTQ protester before Wednesday night's game. Some religious groups upset over the presence of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. We have the problem with the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. That's that whole thing is a mockery on our religion and anybody that supports them or brings them into an event like this, we don't like it. The sisters describe themselves as queer and trans nuns who have been around since the 1970s dressing up in drag. I know there is criticism just about, um, you know, that we are somehow, like I said, fake nuns, but um, I can assure you that's definitely not the case. We do see being a nun as a calling, as a lifelong service uh, to the LGBTQ community, and so we take it very seriously. And a high mayor, Ashley Aiken, invited them to Angel's Pride Night as her guests after a controversial play by the Dodgers. When I felt they were being picked on, that they you know, right, realized that they are welcome in the boys in blue rescinded the group's original invitation for a community hero award at its June 16th Pride Night following backlash from Catholic organizations. But after mounting pressure from the LGBTQ plus community, the Dodgers invited the sisters once again. And I understand that some people don't like the way they deliver their message, but I believe that they spend a lot of time in the community ministering to the sick, the elderly, the poor, and that's really what our faith is about. Crazy stuff. Okay, you do have the uh, Texas Rangers saying that, hey, we're not celebrating pride. Okay, we, we're not having a pride night uh citing diversity and inclusion right which is absolutely hilarious okay that they use a, a, a woke explanation for why they're not having pride night hilarious stuff okay but again not as hilarious as again the stadium being absolutely empty as nancy pelosi is throwing out the first pitch on pride night for the washington nationals in the nation's capital i mean this is just embarrassing right this is absolutely embarrassing Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, there's nobody here, bro. Nobody here. And the funny part is that the local news before the game, they tried to hype this up as if 20,000 fans were actually going to show up 
to this game. I actually want you guys to, again, watch the local news clip here of them hyping up Nancy Pelosi throwing the first pitch in Pride Night because it's absolutely hilarious because nobody, nobody is there, okay? They really apparently expected 20,000 people to show up. Take a look. In earlier, Pride matters to us here at WUSA 9, which is why we had to send our Matthew Torres out to Nats Park for the team's annual Pride event. Nats, night out with the Nats. And uh, Matt really is just one big party, huh? Yeah, you know what? This is a really great experience for me personally. I mean, this is my first time being out here onto the field. I got out here just relishing just how beautiful the weather has been. So talk about a perfect night for fans. So they are playing against the Arizona Diamondbacks. And currently we have people here setting up, of course. Fans are slowly trickling their way here. What's really cool tonight is at 7.05 p.m. Speaker Nancy Pelosi will be throwing out the first um, ceremonial pitch again at 7.05 p.m. She's actually being recognized for all of her decades work trying to protect rights for the LGBTQ community. So coming back to me, for those who are coming here, the first 20,000 fans, listen up if you're trying to rush your way here to Nats Park. If you're one of those 20,000 fans, you get to keep one of these a Screech bobblehead, and you can see how Screech is holding the uh, pride flag right behind him. As well as for those who did buy those special tickets, they can expect that shirt. Part of the proceeds will be benefiting an organization called Team DC. So again, a lot of things happening, a lot of good things happening. It's an exciting night, especially for those who are used to coming here, just one of the many popular events. And what's really cool about this, this is the 18th year for the uh, Nats. And this is now the longest running pride event for any Major League Baseball franchise. We're live here at Nats Park. Zoe, back to you. Yeah, certainly an important event and a fun event there in, uh, in Navy Yard as well. And I don't think I can make it to Nats Park in time for the game, Matthew. So you got to get me one of those Screech bobbleheads if you can, OK? <laughs> All right, Matthew, thank you. You have fun out there as well. And by the way, Capital Pride is happening this weekend. The WUSA 9 team will be walking in the parade again on Saturday. And then there's the festival on Sunday. There's a lot happening in our area for the full list of all the Capital Pride. Yeah, so that news clip is hilarious to me for multiple reasons, right? Uh, first and foremost, they're trying to act like, oh, it's one big party, <laughs> right? Fans are slow to show up. But hey, if you're rushing out here, you're going to get a pride bobblehead, right? A screech pride bobblehead. Uh, I don't think many people wanted that, right? I'm just saying, it doesn't look like fans were rushing to get to the game to make sure that they get some of the pride paraphernalia that was being given away there. I'm just saying. But hey, they say that the special seats were sold out, right? Those tickets were sold out and at 24,000 people. 24,000 people showed up to this game. This is what they say. I'm not sure if I'm buying it, but um, I, I just find that, you know, the MLB and the whole pride thing, it's just funny to me because they want to be woke so bad, right? They want to be woke so bad, but, you know, again, this is what happens when you get involved in, in politics, okay? Uh, once you get political, you're going to get backlash and MLB doesn't really know what to do, okay? Because, you know, they're doing stuff like changing their logo, right, on Facebook, right? You see they had the Pride logo here, and then they quietly uh, removed that and changed it back to the original after all the backlash, right? But again, you know, there could be other reasons why they did this. Apparently, the league was celebrating uh, Lou Gehrig Day, okay, which could have been part of the reason why they did it. But still, you know, I mean, I, I, I just personally wish that they would stay out of politics uh, bringing Nancy Pelosi to do the first pitch at the game doesn't help, right? Um, and, you know, if they just didn't have this at all, um, I think that, you know, we wouldn't have these type of controversies. Because ultimately, it's not like they're going to do a Christian pride night or a straight pride night or anything like that. So why are you having a pride night for LGBTQ? I don't understand. The people that claim they want equality don't actually really want equality, right? I, I'm quite literally advocating for equal treatment, right? Treat everybody equally, okay? So if you're not going to have a straight pride night, if you're not going to celebrate my sexuality, why are you celebrating somebody else's sexuality, okay? Same thing when it comes to race. Same thing when it comes to gender, whatever, right? Just be equal across the board. <laughs> Just play baseball. Just 
sell a product, okay? You you don't have to get all political in order to do this, but apparently, again, this is what the cool thing is to do in woke corporate America, right? Is to virtue signal and to try to be as woke as possible, and it keeps backfiring and backfiring and backfiring on these people, uh, on these corporations, and it's just kind of hilarious to see, right? Again, it was... Again, very, very, very funny to see an empty stadium in the nation's capital on Pride Night with Nancy Pelosi uh, throwing, you know, a terrible pitch. <laughs> okay, pretty hilarious stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.